Hi, you are looking at the Tiny Timer Kickstarter Edition. This is a um, very basic PLC. It has buttons here and here to program it. It has a reset button. It has a six pin ISP header which is currently providing power. It has a uh, input which is wired to the Atmega 328 CPU. It has a logic output for driving an SSR and it has a relay output for controlling a DC or AC load. The board is rated for 4.5 amps at 110 volts. Um, the relay is rated higher than that. There is a ripple filter so that the, if you're controlling a motor, the load will not destroy the relay. And um, it uses a switching transistor um, and there is a diode here to protect the switching transistor. It uses a Mac 7219 CNG um, driver for the LCDs and uses USB for power. Um, it has two modes, run program. When you first load the board with the, the provided code, um, it will be in run mode and it will do nothing. So what you do is you move the jumper over to program mode and it indicates that you're programming run time and the dot indicates which digit you're setting and you can use the next button to move over and it will cycle between the digits and the modes. Red is the entire cycle time and you use the ink or INC button to increment the digit. So period zero is microseconds which are one tenth of a second each. Period one is seconds. Minutes is period two. Type 3 is hours and type 4 is days and you can set up to 9999 in any of these uh, types and you can mix them. So for example I'm going to do 2.5 or 25 microseconds which would be 2.5 seconds and so if I miss it I just keep, keep going around until I get to it. So that's 2.5 seconds using 25 microseconds. And then for my entire cycle time, I'm going to use seconds. And I'm going to make my, my entire cycle eight seconds long. And then all I do is simply move this over. And the display will count out in microseconds where it's at. And it'll also show you what mode is being used. And so one of the things that the sample code does is it calculates the... Uh, pause duration from the cycle time and that way all you have to think about is how long is my cycle and how long do I want to run for and then it will run at the beginning of the cycle. The input header is not used um, in the sample code it is there for experimentation and the logic header is for connecting an SSR such as this type of an SSR which would allow you to control a significantly heavier load. This is available as a kit or as an assembled and completed uh, unit that's ready to program. It features four mounting holes here, there's another one there, there, and there for securing it uh, in an appropriate location. And um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.